okay welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please please do subscribe so that will really encourage me to drop more content like this in the future okay so uh i think today i'd like to work on let me reduce this just a bit too high i like to work on the eye but before i do that i'd like to do a test run for the skin do a test for the skin by adding subsurface cartridge to it i'm using an i'm using an older version of substance painter so uh maybe could there some kind of could there some kind some kind of thing bug i have with this that's some some like the shade i the preset shade i in here doesn't work for a few things so you can just bear with me for that but just do some tests just to figure out if this is working or not so what i'm going to do is to come into in here click plus click on scattering okay then i'll come in here I'll come in here click on let's turn on subsurface scattering on for this okay then i'll also like to turn on shadow maybe not yet maybe not yet so i'll create i'll just duplicate these spots duplicate these spots uh remove max turn off okay let's turn off color turn on scattering let's turn on color for this should probably pull this all the way down Probably down here. Okay, so I'm just trying to have a feel of this to see if it's working correctly or not. Pretty nearly on top of this, hide everything else apart from roughness, apart from the roughness map. Maybe something like this should be fine. Okay. See, I'm just trying to do it, run a test for the skin subsurface cartridge. Let me just name this to SSS. Okay. Push this towards something a bit fleshy. Okay. I should take this all the way up. You can see it's kind of sorting it out completely. That is not what we want. Just need a little bit of this just to get a feel to be sure if it's working correctly or not. Which ideally it seems to be working accurately, as you can see. I think this should be just fine. Yeah, this will work just fine okay so that's what it is just to make sure so i'm going to turn it off i'll just leave this base let me just name it base roughness just as a base there so actually today we want, we want to actually work on the eye we want to actually work on the eye for this is the eye that's the main bit here okay but to work on the eye I need to change the shader setup from PBR Meta Rock to not the test version. PBR Meta Rock with alpha blending in there. So I'm just gonna use our glass material on top of this. So let's hide this. Let's hide this. Okay. The outer eye. I'll go in here, click on this plus icon, bring in opacity. Go in there, add the field layer, increase the metal, add more reflectivity to this. 
okay okay you know uh, exactly okay so let's get some opacity in here so something of, uh, roughly around here should be fine for now something roughly around here should be fine for now so i'm just going to let me just name this to glass okay then i would also come to the let's copy this copy this for the mini screws are coming in here texture sets settings add opacity also in there then on the layers for this i can just paste that in there so i have the same thing going on but for this i'm just going to take this down some more maybe add a bit of roughness in there something like so should be fine that should be fine for now then let's go into the inner eye isolate this okay so let's bring in the let's bring in the maps we already have i think i already have some maps ready for this so i'll go to textures okay sitting here let's drag and drop this on here like so okay i think i need to make this a bit whitish let's turn off this roughness we don't need roughness for this we don't need metallic also okay let's turn on roughness let's make this very rough Okay. I like to make the eye slightly whiter than it is right now. Should be whiter than it is right now. So I should have a filter here. I want this to really affect the color map. I think HSV should be fine. HSL lightness. <clears throat> Okay, that's making it look a bit blown out. That's making it look a little bit blown out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm needing that. I think alternatively, I can just add. Okay. We should more just add the black marks to this. And that feels a bit weird. Put something around here for more brighter tone of it. Am I doing this all wrong though? I might just be doing this all wrong. It's supposed to not symmetry for this. Yeah, better ways of doing this. I could have just used converted the actual map for this into a smart smart serial. So that will come with that should come with all the layers built in. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's see. If this doesn't work out, then I'll just do that instead. Think that the both size. Yeah, I know it's a terrible, it's a terrible way of doing it. 
that's the terrible way this will just take a longer time should use the blow blow this out some more yeah well it actually works so hmm. So I'm just going to take this down some more, like so. I think something pretty much like this should be fine. It's not completely white, so something like this should be fine. Um. Okay, so uh, I like to use a more brown, going for more brown color that I in here. So let's drop this back to zero. No, zero is completely zero point five. Is there a way we can regular? Look for a brownish tone to it. Ah. Nah, this won't work. Let's try another filter. Color. Though I can, I can just repaint this again. Uh, I think I need better control. I just have to use. I think I'll just use the. Oh, this is the previous one. So I'll use the previous one. So I'll come back when I've saved, saved out the smart material. So that should that should have all the layers in there that I can just easily manipulate and change. Okay, so let me just show you guys. So is this part of the The tutorial should be on my playlist. You should find the tutorial on my playlist. So my playlist. So um in our eye. You can just let me solo this out. So this one has all the built-in layer in there. And see all the layers are actually in there. Also, the, the tutorial on how I created it was, is also is also in the same playlist. So if you want to check that out, you are free to check that out. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I would I can just easily select all of this. Put them in a group. Let's just name this to KCI. Right click on O, oh, right click on then click on create smart material. So you can see down here now, that's created the smart material already in here. So you can just go back and reopen the previous file. Click on head save this no uh okay yes right that's saving color for the eye of this no i don't think i have the that same do i have similar color in here not really i don't have the actual eye color in there yeah, but I think we just pick the color from this. We just pick the color in there. So it's open now. And it's even taking up the correct size. Taking up the correct size. Which is awesome. Taking up the correct size. If we, if we needed this to be blue eye, if we needed this to be blue eye, this would, this would actually work. Mm -hmm. But it's not supposed to be blue, it's supposed to be more supposed to be more of um supposed to be more of a dark I don't know if you call it A's or not entirely sure which color it is, but not complete not not brown. Not entirely brown. So let me just solo this again. Make quick save. 
So we have the eye pack in here with the smart material in there. So I can just drag and drop this here. So let's turn everything off. Let's see if that works. If that works correctly, yes. Sticking up the exact up the exact shape we'll probably need to open that up and make some corrections to this okay so I think I'll just hide think there's a normal map in there that we need to remove we need to hide so let me hide this side this so something else normal map in there because the normal map intensity is quite strong okay Okay. Well, unfortunately, it's not it's not even working accurately as I would want it to. Guess I'm not needing it, needing that anymore. It's not working accurately as it should. It's not working accurately enough. So I think we just have to we just have to work on it as it is. Okay. Uh, let me just delete it. It's not working as it should. But I don't think we'll be doing so much though. So I would let's see. Let me create a new free layer on top of this. I will use. Can I pick this color in here? Yes, somewhere around, somewhere around this color. Somewhere around this color. Turn off metallic. Increase the roughness some more. Add the black marks in there. Reduce the brush size. Reduce this. Okay. I think this is a good base. Mm. I need to start doing some. Okay, yes, this is it here. So. Trying to figure out a particular one I can actually even, even use in here. Okay, this one seems interesting. It looks interesting. So I will let me put this here. So I'm doing it symmetrically, so that's fine. Then I would um I'll just duplicate this. Duplicate this. I will change the color. Of, change the color for this. Use something. Mm. Okay, so this was this brown. Add the black marks in there. Then I would uh. Add a generator. Let's use the. I believe. Let's try the cover. Let's see. Try cavities. Uh, 
uh, invert this try this contrast nothing <clears throat> and to <clears throat> get something in here can I add the levels adjustment to this Now, I can't really see much happening in here. There isn't much happening in here. Okay, maybe something like this. Uh, Not entirely sure though. Let's see if we can adjust this. Let's try something else. Okay, maybe we can actually use it then. We'll just do several inverse of this. Several inverse of this. But I think the inner part should be, let's see. Oh, do, let me duplicate this first, hide this, use more of a darker tone to it. I think something like this. Then I'll blow it. Is a blow filter for this. Probably too much blow. I'll put this in a group. Add the black. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just add the paint layer to this. Raise. Raise the center parts. Okay, I think the center part should be very extremely black. So let's duplicate. Use something very black. Roughness. Add the black marks. Use something like this should be fine. Okay. And I'll turn this back on. I'll come in here, I'll do an invert. Okay. Can I make this broader? Yes, I can. Right, so I would think I think I will just put this in a group at the black marks name this bright brown okay let me do a quick save so I just need to review bring back some of this out Uh, I think I'm in the wrong brush. Let's use the what's it called again? Dead brush. It's X on the keyboard and just break these edges out a bit more. Okay. 
and I think that should be fine. I will duplicate this. Use a slight, some slight off color to it. Trim off a dollar tone color for it. Add the black marks. And just bring out the brown on the edges. Okay. Something like so. I think I need to, this edge needs to be a bit darker. I'll do that later on, but I think. Getting something in here. Let's look for another brown color. I cannot figure out what is going on in there. Where's the dark one? Where's the dark? Is it dark? Okay, no, no, no. Is it dark? Where is this dark one? I'm not making this even darker. Let me duplicate this. See if we can make this even darker than it is right now. Okay. This I need to blow. Let me name this to dull brown. Okay, so this dull brown I like to let me add a blow filter to this. Oh, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Yeah, this one I'm supposed to have my blow filter too. Okay. I think I'll put drag this. Let me just name this to dark. Caves. Let me drag this on top like so. Oh, that's completely covering everything. Should probably take this down. Nah. Put it back where put it back where it was. Okay. I think I also need to blow. Oh, I gave it the wrong, this is even the wrong name. Copy this, paste, this is the bright brown, brown center. Okay. Come back in here, I'll put this to 4K resolution. So you can see this even clear, clearer. Let me add a blow, mark blow filter to this. Okay. And the edge. Select this. I'll duplicate this. Add the black marks. So I'll go to shapes. Where is this? Uh, is it al okay, alpha? Where is that shape? Is that shape the result of, okay, I found this, this shape. Double click on it. If I need to reduce the border for its border width. Use the border width again. Increase the size some more. Maybe way too much. 
find a good cell. Let's try typing it in there. Maybe 7.5. Okay, something like this will work. I'll just type in fantastic. That is just great. Why are we getting double of this? I'm getting double shapes in here. It's pretty weird. Anyways, you can clean that off. I think we should be getting the same thing on the other side. So let's clean this off. Great. This is the default brush. Clean this off. Great. Okay. Clean this off. Try to increase the brush size some more so I can go a bit faster. Okay. Then I will blow this out. Okay. Uh, I also like to have a general darkness on top of everything. So I'll just duplicate. Let me just name this to edge ring. Dark center. It's a really good kind of name stuff, so you know what's I know where they are. Let's save it and let's see what we have. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. It actually doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Can actually work can actually work with this by giving him a brown eye color to him. It looks dark. I think dark brown should be fine. Dark brown seems fine. The, the center bright this bright brown this bright brown let me duplicate it use a more brighter tone to it so it kind of pops out from the rest you see it now popping out from the rest Okay, duplicate it again. I'm not sure if that necessary though. I think this we can actually work with this. We can actually work with this. So let's go in there. Something I need to fix. Something I need to fix in here, I think. Uh, I think on this white layer, I think I can paint. Okay, I can paint this off some more. Maybe even come in here. I'll duplicate this layer. 
bring this down on top of this i'll add a white max see erase I want to raise something in here. Oh, add the black marks to this. Add your whites. Even remove mask completely for this. Trying to paint off this part. Trying to paint off that part. Um, missing something. Let's see. Let me hide all of this first. Okay. All the white marks in there. <clears throat> okay, I can clear it now. See if that actually helps anything. No, nah, totally made it totally made it look a bit weird. Totally made it look a bit weird. Eh. It's not really it's not really a deep breaker though. It's not really a deep breaker. Not really a deep breaker. For the most part, everything seems to be working at least fine, at least from a distance. Hmm. Okay. We click save. Let's say, for example, you want to make the eye even darker than it is right now. We are going for something a bit darker. You can always I think it should be this layer. Dark. Should be this one. So let me just duplicate this. Drag this all the way up. So if you want to make it a bit darker, you can always do this. Drag this on top. Maybe it's way too black. You can always tune this down some more, like so. Okay. If this is more more of your style, you can always leave this as it is. But I think I prefer this without. I need to. I want to have this brown. Kind of eye picking through, maybe reduce this some more, like so, just darken it. Just stay in there, okay? Save this, okay? That's fine. So now, now I've completed the texturing for the eye. So, in the next lesson, we're going to go to the other parts, other pieces of this, and then just do something in there. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.